<laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning Wilmington. What's going on? It's your main man, Big Ive, the talk of the town. Again, back with my lovely co-host. Vincenza. Ivan. Hey. I like when you wear green. You, it, it brings out your eyes. The color of money. <laughs> no, like no, no, that. no. I actually, like that. no. I like they, look, that. <laughs> it is actually the color of mental health, right? Mm. And that's one thing that DETV is here for is to support and bring awareness that's about right. mental health and mm -hmm. behavioral health. Um, it's a, it's running rampant within our community, mm -hmm. and we just feel at DETV that we're going to do whatever we need to do to, you know, spread the message, to spread the word, and spread absolutely, the love. Absolutely, absolutely. And throughout 2024, we will be bringing awareness to mental health and behavioral health because it is important and yeah. continuing and excuse me continuing the conversation um, not just for females but also for males oh yeah yeah it's 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 you know mental health was something in, in our community growing up you know over south bridge that was mm -hmm. uh, was really pushed <laughs> under um, the, the rug and it was just like you know that person's crazy or that person's whatever but people not re recognizing like right. uh, you know people are really going through things and right. especially in this day and age mm -hmm. with the the consumption of all type of content Yes. That's available at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Whoo! Okay, that's a whole other topic, another subject. Make sure but we will touch. We will touch on that. Yeah. Throughout 2024, and yeah. we will continue the conversation because, like you said, it really is important. Yeah, and remember, it's okay not to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, but if you have any, if you feel um, some type of way, feel free to reach out to your physician, or a doctor, nurse practitioner. And, and remember, it's okay to be, all, it's okay not to be okay. That's right. All right. Next up, my man on the plaza, right? They came visit us today, <laughs> well across the East Coast to talk about who he is and the Glammy Awards yes. is the entrepreneur, the philanthropist, the man that gives a damn <laughs> about what's going on in the community, Sean Briscoe. Sean, welcome to the plaza, bro. Hey, thank you for Hi, having Sean. me. Thanks thank for coming. <laughs> All right, Sean, you here, bro, and you've been doing, a, I, I've known you for about, maybe about 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen, and this is one of the, I'll let you ask the question because okay. you always say, you always well, ask. Because I, I always joke that Ivan knows so, well, I know so many people, but Ivan knows so many people that mm -hmm. join us on the show, mm -hmm. but I don't get to I get a chance to really get to know them, you know, as much um, until we start talking. So before we talk about what the Glammy Awards <laughs> is, tell us a little bit about yourself, Sean. Okay. Um, well, um, I was raised on the east side of Wilmington, Delaware. Um, I started cutting hair when I was very, very young. Um, just giving everybody a bold haircut, no line, no, no blend, line, no blend, no none of that. <laughs> and um, it was like something that I had a passion for at the time. And a lot of my friends, they would allow me to do the trial and error on their heads mm -hmm. or, or things of that nature. And um, I just uh, kept doing it, doing it to the point where I kind of got where I didn't really have a, a, a social life. So I ended up stopped cutting hair and um, started having regular jobs and things of that nature. And then I ended up um, getting laid off from uh, carpentry, mm -hmm. ended up getting back into the barber game and um, came up with this idea for the Glammys. And um, I think um, I seen so many old barbers, so many stylists and mm -hmm. things of that nature that were uh, doing hair for years. And you really don't see the acknowledgement, you know, mm -hmm. other than maybe a tip here or something like that. Mm -hmm. So this was an idea I came up with that, you know, something that is tang more tangible mm -hmm. where they can carry it on and I don't know, just, I think I think it's a great idea, right? Mm -hmm. Because and and you could touch a little yes. bit on this for me, Sean. Mm -hmm. Like within the black community, mm -hmm. barbershops are our sanctuary. Yes. Salons are our Absolutely. sanctuary. Absolutely. And 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 it's it's crazy that you say that because um, I have like so many clients that it's like you have to memorize or you know all the conversations that you have with the different people. When the, when the next person comes in a chair, you're like, okay. I remember last week he said he was going to a birthday party for his daughter, mm -hmm. or the other guy that says, oh, "Man, I'm uh, interviewing for a job." Mm -hmm. So you have to remember these things or retain all these uh, different lives in your head. And uh, I guess it's the same thing for a stylist, you mm -hmm. know. So you know that's the, the similarities of the two. But um, it's just a lot, and then it's just different personalities that you deal with on a daily basis that you have to make those adjustments with with the different uh, clients that come in. Mm -hmm. So. No, and be, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. So, Sean, I, I respect what you do and how you saying, you know, how you were saying about remembering mm -hmm. your, each of your clients and mm -hmm. their personal stories, mm -hmm. and that just shows your heart and your passion that you have in what you do. Yes. Because you, 
in, in my industry, the restaurant industry, mm -hmm. what we do is, um, which is very important, is remember the customers that come through your door. Absolutely. And we remember what they enjoy eating and what yep. they enjoy drinking. Exactly. So that makes us a good, whether a bartender or server, for mm -hmm. you being a barber, mm -hmm. remembering obviously their names, but also their stories. Yes, absolutely. And that just mm -hmm. makes you very good at what you do, but mm -hmm. you have a big heart. Yeah. You're passionate for what yes. you do. And I, and I think that will resonate in the event yes, that absolutely. you are hosting. So absolutely. let's talk about it. What is the Glammy Awards? <laughs> well, <laughs> I came up with the name, well, I didn't come up with the name, but I Googled Barbers and Stylists mm -hmm. Awards, and the name came up on Google Glammys. And I thought it was catchy, so I was just like, look, we'll just take it from there. Right. So the Glammys is basically a, an award ceremony for barbers and hairstylists to um, be recognized mm -hmm. in the city. You know, I've been traveling to barbershops from Dover to Middletown, all over the city, um, just going in, speaking to them one-on-one, -on -one, express, expressing to them what the, the concept is, is that, you know, if you're the owner of the shop, then you're definitely going to be acknowledged just because mm -hmm. that's within itself is a great uh, accomplishment. Yes. And then also um, we have barbers and hairstylists that have been doing it for 20, 25, 40 years. So they're gonna be acknowledged for the longevity, is for the um, giving back to the community. Right. So things of that nature is just, one of those things that is just one of the, just acknowledging them and, and giving them their kudos while they're still here. One yeah. of those things, giving them flowers while they're Yes, <laughs> I love that. And coming from the east side, like name some barbers, barbers that are just not even from the east side, just barbers that you recognize personally that made an impact on Sean Briscoe's life. Brother Rashad. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Rashad. I remember going into Brother Rashad's barbershop and my mother would just leave me there. And I remember I, would, I could possibly fall asleep and I uh, wake up and there's a whole different crowd of people there. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was just one of those things where it was just like a revolving door where just people were just coming and coming and coming. Yeah. And um, just was amazing, man. Just the, the, the camaraderie that came with being in a barbershop, the conversations, the different, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the local sports news, update. right, the right. sports yeah, updates, yeah. the local news. Just, I mean, it was just a, it was a beautiful thing, man. And yeah. um, now I, I just talked to Brother Rashad and he was just, he was excited about the fact that yeah. I was like, look, you know, I want you to be there because people like yourself are people that I'm gonna acknowledge, you know? Yes. And he was like, you know, no problem. These so. these were our, our first celebrities, right? Yes. Mentions that we would see. And like, I remember my first incident, my, my time in the barbershop was Boney Barbershop over, over South Bridge, yes, yes, right? Yes. And now you go in there and you would see Boney, and you see, and, and Boney would have, like, so it was two, two parts of the barbershop, the front mm -hmm. end where all the older people sat, and the back mm -hmm. end where the young people sat, mm -hmm. and but you sat there with your mom or your dad or whatever. Uh -huh. And it was always Jet Beauty of the Week, yeah. right, <laughs> right, in the back. And then the barber, one of the barbers there was Moose. Okay. And um, it was, it was, and then I moved over east side, and that's where I met Brother Rashad. Yeah. And when you walk into those barbershops, uh, Vincenza, it mm -hmm. was, for a black man in, that, in, in the barbershop, it was, I can just be here and not be judged. I can mm -hmm. be here and mm -hmm. get every bit of info mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. that will not leave this barbershop. Absolutely. You know it what I mean? It sounds like it was a brotherhood. It was. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It exactly. is. It sounds like that exactly. you you had a, a safe space mm -hmm. that you would create. Yeah. And obviously an opportunity to network yeah. and connect, mm -hmm. but also support mm -hmm. you would feel that support and even if you were feeling vulnerable mm -hmm. it was a safe space yeah absolutely and that's uh, that's in my mind how mm -hmm. i picture a barber shop i've been to many barber shops before mm -hmm. but obviously i don't go to a barber for my hair yeah. um i go to a, a stylist, stylist. Yes. you go to a black um, barber for that hair i, yeah, I mean <laughs> i'm sure i would get a great haircut right right you get I'm a sure fade get a with a table on the side <laughs> mullet yeah you never know but uh, i just i just that's how i sense that yeah. the the feeling that i receive is that it's a brotherhood yes, and a safe absolutely. space that you create at least for the barber shops that i'm sure you'll be honoring now you're honoring as barber shops but also hairstylists yes. individuals yes. as well so how many how many barber shops, how many hairstylists do you think that you'll will be able to honor? Well, we actually bought like I want to say 70 awards. Oh, so, wow. So, we're going to just as they come Excellent. just hand them out as basically what I did already as I went to a lot of the barber shops or hair hairstylists and um or hair salons and um I, I got confirmation. Yeah. Are you going to be able to make it? Yeah. If you are, I have your name down as a person that's going to receive an award Excellent. and then go from there. Um it's 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 one of them things that a lot of people um, they they 
they feel good about the the award, but then they have different things going on. So mm -hmm. it's kind of one of those things where the dates sometimes kind of be a conflict of interest mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. Because I have a, a couple of people that are like, I'm gonna be out of town on that right. day or not. But outside of that, I'm I'm trying to figure out for next year. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the first year, so for next year, how we can kind of yeah. work around those dates or whatever, or the yeah. date that we actually have it on, where we can still get an award or we can right. still acknowledge you. Yeah. You know, because I mean, what you've done in the community, you know, in all those years of experience and things of that nature, that can't be, you know, yeah. replaced right. even if you're not there. So, so when is the event? It's, that's a good question. It's this Sunday, it's January. <laughs> oh, it's coming up. Yeah, it's January okay. 21st. Mm -hmm. The doors open at four o'clock. It's at the Grand Opera House. Um, it's dressed to impress. It's gonna be a really nice affair. Yeah. We got, um, the mayor is actually coming to um, introduce, I guess, or speak on the barbers and hairstylists. Um, we got, uh, we had asked the governor to come. I don't know if he's going to be available. But, hey, Gov, uh, I'm going to need you to show up, bro. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ivan yeah. knows people. Yeah. So um, I think it's going to be a really nice event. We, I've talked to a lot of big people in, in the city, uh, Trippy Congo, Storm and Oliver, mm -hmm. uh, Norman Oliver, and um, a lot of people are just, are just excited about it. And I think, you know, it's going to be a really good uh, event. And then a lot of times you don't get a chance to dress up. Yeah, you know me. I'm wearing sweatpants a lot. So an event like this, you get a chance to dress up. You know, put a little suit jacket on and uh, show up, out. show up. Yeah, there you go. All for a good cause. And there it's always go. fun to dress up, right? Yeah. And oh, I think people I are going to enjoy the the, the, the actual. Uh, I went to the trophy shop and got some really nice awards. Mm -hmm. They're glass, crystal, had they inscribed in them and everything. Yeah, like shout that. out to the trophy shop. Yeah, yeah Tom exactly. Tanzelli, I think that's his what name. He's the owner. Yeah, that's yeah. My guy. I I I, um, <laughs> I order my trophies for the Miss Delaware USA pageant through him. Yes. He's wonderful. He's been in the game for a long. Long time, long time. Long time. Yeah, really yeah. good guy. Yeah, too. shout out to a small yeah. business owner in Wilmington, right yep. in the city of Wilmington, yep. the trophy shop. There yeah. you yeah, go. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. He actually did uh, um, our signs. Oh, he did my, I have a tow truck towing business as well. Mm -hmm. He actually did the sign for my tow truck and yeah. he also did the signs for the barbershop window. So he's he's been around. Yeah. People, awesome dude. Awesome yeah, dude. Yeah. Very good guy. Um, what else do you want people to know about this event? Because this event is it's, it's, it's so amazing when you just get acknowledged, right? Yes. And yes. that's what the, this is all about, yes. is acknowledgement to say yes. thank you. Yeah, right? definitely. And definitely. Um, I, I think, I know that it's going to touch so many people. Yes. Um, so what else do you want people to know about? Um, just that we're trying to make this thing grow. We're trying to like make it really, really big for Delaware. Um, like I said, I've been driving all the way down to Dover to, mm -hmm. to Middletown. We got shops coming from all over. And I just want everybody to be as passionate about it as I am. And um, just hopefully next year on a second annual, it'll just be bigger and bigger and bigger. No such thing as hope, Briss. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it will be. Yeah. It because will I can be. see this thing going to yes. New Jersey, Philadelphia, yeah. yes. you yes. know, yes. New York. Yes. Because yes. You know, everyone has, some, this is a big, big deal, dog. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a big thing, man. Yes, so yes. ain't no no hope. Yeah. Like I see you win. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> it. And thank you for for taking the time to organize an impactful event, yeah. honoring the individuals in your industry. Yes. Because it is important to honor yes. them because it yes. is hard work. Yes. It it's is. not easy owning yes. a small business. Yes. Ivan and I talk about it all the time. Yes. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into your small business, and many don't understand what it takes mm. to operate a small business, let alone a barbershop or a hair salon. Yeah. Or a tow truck company. Yes, yeah. whatever it may <laughs> yeah. be. Yeah. So thank you thank for you. honoring those individuals yes. and hats off to you. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate you. Of course. Man, yeah. um, before we get out of here, that's the community camera over there, the first one. Okay. Just look right at it and just <laughs> give everybody an invite to uh, the Glammies. <laughs> The first annual Glammies is going to be at the Grand Opera House at 4 o'clock. The doors open. The tickets are $25. I would appreciate everybody, even if you're not a barber, even if you're not a hairstylist, come on out, support the cause. I'm sure you get your hair done somewhere or you get your hair cut somewhere. So come on out. Um, it's at the Grand Opera House. It's on Market Street. The doors open at 4 o'clock uh, this Sunday, January 21st. We love to see you there. Dressed to impress. That's it. Sit. That's, That's all he got. <laughs> Briss, thank you so much for stopping thank you. by, good brother. Thank you. All right, it's your man Ive and Vincenza. And we'll be right back with the people that's going to make nine to five a reality. Working nine, nine to five. five. What's the next verse? I don't remember. All right, it's all right. We're gonna ask the woman to drum league when they come up. We'll be right back after this message. What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ob, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. We just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. What she said, 10 a.m.
Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.